Hello my friends and welcome back. Now, uh, you've seen a lot of reviews that I've done on TID Radio uh, models like the TDH8, which is a 10 watt radio, and this is an actually true 10 watt radio by comparison to other brands that advertise 10 and only push out like 7 watts or 8 watts. This is a 10 watt radio. You've also seen my previous review on TID Radio's new radio, the H3, the little baby brother to the H8. By comparison, you can see it's a lot smaller, which is really nice because it's a nice form factor. Now, I've already reviewed a pre-release version of this radio before, and there were some items in there that I did not like and I made comments about, and I contacted TID Radio and discussed it with them. One thing I have currently liked about TID Radio is you can communicate with them. They will respond within the day. And if you bring something to their attention, they're very quick to work on it and improve on it. Now, that's something I really appreciate because not too many manufacturers, I won't name names like Baofeng, um, don't really pay that much attention to their products. Plus, there are so many manufacturers that make Baofeng radios um, that they have all sorts of variants and different variation models, uh, sometimes of the same thing. We've all seen that situation with the 17s. Pro GPS and blah blah blah. TID Radio sticks to their own thing. Now, interestingly enough, TID Radio does manufacture radios for Baofeng as well. Odd, but whatever. Now, this is a nice little radio. This is a 5 watt radio. Like um, the previous Big Brother, this can come in ham format, GMRS, or unlocked. And yes, you can actually, with a combination of buttons, you can unlock this radio. I'm not going to go into that because I neither condone nor endorse locking or unlocking radio. Please act responsibly when you use your radio. Uh, you know, let's, let's respect the hobby. So one of the things that I had mentioned in the previous video was that the keypad on this was not lit and that was something that really bothered me. Well, guess what it is now? This keypad lights up and I got a lot of a lot of comments on my previous video saying that theirs does light up but the original one that I had done was actually a pre-release model and it did not have the light up keypad but then TID Radio sent me a production model and that's been taken care of. What's very very interesting is that I put this on my tiny SA and this radio comes out clean of harmonics, so no spurious emissions. That is something very, very nice to see because, well, guess what? This is now my everyday carry for many more reasons than one. One, let's start at the top, the size. It's nice, it's small, it's compact, easy to carry. Even with a belt clip, you can clip it to your belt, which I usually don't. I have it on my little, in my carry bag. Uh, with a little antenna sticking out. It does have a lot of features I like. It's got a color screen. Just like the bigger TID radio, it's basically the same configuration on the screen, just a little bit smaller. Welcome. But a very nice color screen. It has Bluetooth programming built in. Very nice. You hook up to your phone, you can program it right off your phone off the application. A lot of people have complained about the application and about the password and whatever. You know what? Just make up a crazy password and, and log in and then do your programming. Don't worry about it. It's not a security issue. And what, what do you think? You think your information is not out there? What are you giving them? Your email address for crying out loud. All your information is out there everywhere circulating. Your bank information, your everything. So really, are we really concerned now about just signing into OD Master or something just for, as an app that's that's silly but whatever that's again I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about that now I did say this had smaller buttons yes it does it's got a little bit smaller buttons but you do learn to work around them because let's face it this is not much different than what always came up on the UV5R and if you look at it compared to UV5R it's a little bit narrower uh, maybe a little bit thicker, but it does have a bit of bigger battery, and they're about the same height, uh, maybe a quarter inch higher. But this one has double or more the screen size of the UV5R. 
It is color. It does have Bluetooth programming. You can charge it via USB-C or in the cradle. It comes with the cradle. You can charge it in the cradle or USB-C right there. So you could do either one. Uh, well, what's interesting is this actually has dual buttons. Do you notice there are two LEDs up here? That's for dual channels because you can have two channels going at the same time and you would have reception signals as you can see right here channel A is coming through not B and then you have transmit push to talk for one push to talk on two so you don't even have to sit there and switch between A and B to get between one channel and the other you just push either button accordingly this is programmable so you can program anything you want to that and then of course the ubiquitous fat flashlight I don't know why they still put those there but I guess whatever this side has the standard UV I mean, sorry, the standard two-pin K-Connect, so you can do your programming or put an earpiece. But, look at that. USB-C. Now, this unit does come with a USB-C cable, which you can use to charge the radio, or you can hook it right here and program your radio. You don't need to get a programming cable. You can use your USB-C cable to program this. So here are your options. You can program it manually up the front. You can program it using Bluetooth and you just press right here and you'll get Bluetooth connection. There's your little Bluetooth right there let you know you're connected to Bluetooth. You can connect it to your phone. It works with Androids or iPhones, either one. And you can also program it using the USB cable. Now using a USB-C cable would give you the option to connect to your computer laptop uh, and then you would use the program that you can get from TID Radio which you can download from their site it's free of charge or you can use Chirp because this radio is on Chirp which means you can hook it up USB-C cable that comes in the box no extra additional cable you can be up and running in no time do whatever programming you want again this comes with a certain band in it Either comes in a ham configuration or a GMRS configuration, but there is a button combination which you can use um, to put it in any mode you want. You can put it in ham and it'll only work in ham bands. You can put it in GMRS and it'll only work in GMRS bands. Or you can put it in open bands and it'll, it'll work on all bands. Now, of course, air band, which is a nice feature this radio has. Again, those of you that know, I like air band. I live close to an airport. I like to listen. Um, you cannot transmit on airband, obviously, but you can transmit on several other frequencies when using this radio. Um, do I recommend this radio? Very highly. Very, very highly. In fact, I have an affiliate link below to this radio uh, and a coupon code. If you use it, you'll get an additional discount on top of everything else. I have been very happy with the products I have received from TID Radio. I've reviewed several of them. TID Radio does not pay me or ask me to say anything particular. They do send me the radios for free. I don't pay for them. They send me the radios. I review them at my discretion, and I have no obligation to say anything. So if I see something wrong, I will say it straight out. I am not obligated to say anything particular to endorse. However, I'm just pleased with the product, and I have been impressed with the way they respond to their buyers to their customers they actually listen and if there's an issue they try to fix it there are constantly firmware upgrades to these firmware upgrades for the H uh, for the H8 so it's nice to see a company that's moving along and trying to improve things rather than staying static and just changing the body style and throwing a radio out there that's not to knock other radios uh, like cheaper radios like uh, Quan Shang's which I have several of because I've always liked them. They're very popular. They're nice. Look at this. The Quan Sheng UVK is even larger than this. And it doesn't have a color screen. Not that this is a bad radio. This does have some other features that you can actually uh, play with a the firmware. There's so many different firmwares that are available and a lot of features on this. But it is a monochrome screen. This one has a color screen. Now, the thing is, you can upgrade the firmware on this, which means that at some point in time, if somebody really invests time into it, I'm sure we'll be able to find interesting firmwares that may offer additional features. Now, I will say this about firmwares. Remember I mentioned that the original one did not have a lit keypad? 
Well, guess what? I got the new firmware from TID Radio, and I uploaded it to this radio. And now, this radio also has a lit keypad. So that was something, again, that was remedied in the firmware. And as far as better reception, yes, than the original version of the firmware that I had here, this one has slightly better audio reception. Catches all the signals really good, even with the standard antenna that comes with it. Didn't have to replace the antenna, puts anything else on it. Great radio. There's going to be an affiliate link below. You can hook up. Affiliate links don't cost you anything, but if you use the link, you can get a discount, an additional discount, uh, and it does help the channel. If you like this video, I really would appreciate a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Ask me questions. I try to respond as quickly as I can, uh, sometimes uh, immediately, sometimes within a few hours, depending on what I'm doing or what how tied up I am. Um, please subscribe if you haven't, so you can follow up on these. Uh, I will keep making more videos as long as people are interested in watching them. Thanks for watching.